Hi, we're here today with Andrew Hudson from Andrew Hudson's Job List. Um, chances are that you've heard of his website and his services before. However, with um, Spotlight on Small Business, I really wanted to feature him because he has a hand, he has a lot of knowledge in the Denver market. He has a lot of knowledge on in a lot of different areas of industry, as well as um, he's a great small business that has started in a downturn and been successful and um, is making moves to help others be successful as we pivot out of this current circumstance. So Andrew, I'm just gonna turn it over to you. Can you tell us a little bit about what spurred you to start the jobs list and um, you know what people find most useful about the site itself? Sure, well, I'll give you the short story. About 21 years ago, I was working for the mayor of Denver and I started a very powerful networking list. It was an email list. And it was basically to help uh, leapfrog over the mainstream press and get information directly to people. And I had a list of about 300 folks that were business leaders, community leaders, journalists, people in politics. And so that list um, became very, very influential and people started sending me jobs. And so that's kind of how it started. I um, left the mayor's office and I went to Frontier Airlines and started doing some other corporate things. And the list just kept growing and growing. And then 11 years ago, uh, I decided to do the, um, the entrepreneurial leap and turn it into a full-time business. And from that moment on, I've been doing this full-time as my job. Great. So I, um, on your website, employers can actually um, belong and post jobs and, and you guys do a great job. I know um, a decade or so ago when I was in public relations, your job was, your, your um, site was the spot for me and I garnered a lot of information um, that was very useful from that along with um, the jobs themselves. But um, tell me a little bit about what you offer for job seekers. Sure. So the revenue model is, the, I, I make my revenue from companies and they pay me to post a job. So it's pretty much like a, any other job board. Mm -hmm. And then it's free for job seekers. Now, I think the secret sauce for my site is that it is very, very local. So um, what I found early on is that with job boards, particularly the big ones, you're competing against people across the world, across the country. And with mine, I'm really tailoring it and focusing in on people who want to work and live in Colorado, and particularly to companies that are looking for folks, professionals that you know are within their community as well. And I really do a lot of work to make sure that those jobs are, um, they're updated, they're real, the companies are actively recruiting for the jobs that I post up there. And so I offer, um, I offer that free service to the job seekers themselves. I also do resume writing for uh, folks that are struggling. And I think that that's a very critical part right now. I'm finding a lot of people are using this time, even if they're currently employed or they're on furlough, um, they're using this time to kind of rethink and recalibrate their careers and what they want to do. It's a really good opportunity for folks to do that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's these times when we have pause in our um, professional career often don't come when everybody has paused together. It may be when you're, you've left to have children and you're re-entering the job force or you're straight out of college or you've had a successful career in one area and you're really looking to expand into another. Um, so as a connector and as an instructor and as an entrepreneur, which hat of those three do you think is the most important or are they all sort of equal? Well, I think um, as a job seeker, you have to have a level of entrepreneur in you um, because you are a product in the marketplace of job seekers. And so um, I always tell job seekers, you know, put on your sales hat, put on your marketing hat. And that means being able to tell stories and being able to really um, show the value that you offer to an employer. Now, right now, it can seem very strange for a lot of folks who they might have been laid off altogether and they're in the job market for the first time in a while. And I think one of the hardest parts of looking for a job is taking ownership of what you've done in the past. It takes people out of their comfort zone. It's very awkward for people to talk about themselves. 
And so I, uh, I do a lot of coaching with job seekers to remind them that all that stuff that's on their resume, all of the accomplishments, the promotions, the jobs that they've had and the skills that they have, um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with being confident with what you've done with your career and taking ownership of that. So, you know, I think there's a, a level of entrepreneurship in everybody that just has to be pulled out a little bit. Yeah. So you have lived and worked in Colorado for all your life. Is that correct? Are you, are you a transplant as well? No, born and raised in Colorado. I spent um, about three years in Washington, D.C., but I've, other than that, I've been here all my life. So what made you want to get out of the politics area? Or um, Sure. I think politics is a great career choice. Government is a great career choice. Um, I had done it for a while. And when uh, Mayor Webb was um, term limited, he could not run for another election. I had to make a choice as to whether or not I wanted to stick around and be part of that some more. And I had done that for quite a while. And I got the opportunity to go work for Frontier Airlines and um, to manage that great talking animal campaign on the back of the tails back in the, um, you know, the mid 2000s. And it was just, it was just a terrific opportunity. And it really helped me learn a lot of different skills and gave me a lot more leadership experience. So that was, um, it was just something that I wanted to do. Yeah, absolutely. You know, sometimes I, I think I've found um, it's the unexpected turn that can sometimes give us the most fun and the most experience as long as we're open to learning. Um, I was a personal favorite of the, of the hair but um, those of us that have been around Colorado for a while remember Frontier fondly for that, for that campaign. Um, so you do offer online seminars and um, resume assistance. Uh, you're doing a sort of a resume tune-up now for $99 for job seekers. Can you talk, speak a little to that? Yeah, it's, it's an interesting thing. You know, I was talking with another uh, career expert a couple days ago, and I had never known this about her, but when she first started her job out of, uh, out of high school, she wanted to be a mechanic. And she's now a career expert. And we started talking about how, you know, all of our experiences in our lives kind of lead us to where we're at. And um, I used the analogy with her. I said, you know, both of what we do, a lot of times people come to me and they think they need their engine overhauled in terms of their job search or their resume. And in fact, they don't, they just need a tune up. And so, um, you know, my, uh, I, I can tell pretty quickly, you know, when I'm looking at a resume, that if there's all the information is there, um, that's a good starting point for me, because now I just go back to the research, and the research shows very clearly that on resumes, how information is formatted and organized will determine if someone is going to take that resume and get that aha moment to invite somebody in for an interview. The other part of it is my branding and marketing experience. Everybody has to have some level of a brand promise in their resume that sticks out, shows people, tells people right off the bat, this is who I am, this is the connection to my background, to my skills, to my accomplishments, and this is what I can do for you. And so there's really kind of two sections to the resume that I do. And um, I'm, I'm finding that pe people find these that it's very helpful because so much of what we've been taught about resumes, it's, it's 15, 20 years ago when you used to open up the Rocky Mountain News and the Denver Post and look for a job. And today you have to deal with applicant tracking systems. You have to deal with all kinds of different things, job boards that you never had to in the past. So the formatting and, and um, you know, how a resume, the function of a resume is very different than it used to be. Yes, um, that is so true. And so many of those algorithms that read those resumes, you're attuned to that and how those work. And a lot of times it's just in the phrasing, right? It's just in the vocabulary that's in the text itself. Um, so I want to speak to yeah, you, that's a, yeah. sorry, you and Christina, your wife, um, do a large number of things to give back to, um, Colorado and you are very involved in the Denver community. Um, as an experienced jazz musician, um, as a connector, um, online and in many other areas, what's your favorite and why do you feel it's so important to be so involved? Well, I think one of the things that um, we recognize, and Christine particularly is, you know, she's an expert in the nonprofit world, is that the nonprofits are a safety net for our communities. And I think we're seeing that 
more so today than ever before with what is going on. And we're going to see this as we come out of this uh, coronavirus and, you know, start digging ourselves out of this recession. And nonprofits are community-based. They are, their sole intention is to help a variety of different communities in a variety of different ways. And so we have our favorite nonprofits. I serve on several boards. I serve on the board of Volunteers of America and also um, the Colorado Outward Bound. And I've served on a variety of boards as well. And it's, it's really, I mean, and I, Christine would tell you this more than I, that you, you can't just serve on boards. It's gotta be something that is part of your passion. And um, you get a lot out of that. I mean, not only in terms of lending your skills and your abilities to a nonprofit, but also you selfishly, you end up meeting a lot of really great people. And it's a great networking opportunity. Um, not only if you're looking for a job, but just in terms of your career in general. Um, I meet a lot of really interesting, uh, uh, fascinating people, and, um, and I get to be involved in a lot of different things that is helping the community. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for all this information. I have one final question, because I know you have two little ones at home, and we're all doing our best while adjusting our schedules and, and teaching from home and become, putting all those new hats on, um, but to speak to your guys' involvement in the community, how do, you, how do you teach your kids that importance of being involved, developing your characteristics of, of giving and of caring and, and sort of compassion and empathy? Um, what works at your household? You know, um, some of it's intentional and some of it is just them observing us. I mean, we, we work really hard to get them to read the news and understand the news and we have discussions about what's going on. Um, they are certainly big fans of what uh, my wife does in terms of her nonprofit work. And, um, you know, we do volunteer work and we do also um, work with our kids to, uh, for example, once a year at least, we, we say, you know, for every new toy you get, you have to give three of them away. You know, so it's, it's kind of this thing of understanding that there's, um, you know, there's a give and take here amongst us. And, um, you know, ho hopefully, you know, in, and I think this is true with other families as well, they're, they're going to pick up on how you behave. And, you know, it's just part of our DNA. So hopefully they'll, they'll pick up on that as well. Great. Well, I definitely appreciate your time. Um, I just really want to highlight, I'm doing this to highlight all the small businesses and all the connectors and all the helpers in the metro area and along the front range and all across Colorado to start with and then hopefully nationwide. Um, I really feel like coming together through this and out of this recession is how we're gonna best succeed. So for everything that you do and for your business, I just wanna say thank you. And um, everybody check out andrewhudsonsjobslist.com and it'll be posted right below this video. And check out his upcoming seminars um, the job board itself and check out his tips and tricks. He's got a blog and a lot of great information on there. So thank you, Andrew. I appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.